accountant logged into QuickBooks Online using the new version of the bank feed screen that looks like this. You may have noticed a new column called Request More Info. And eventually, as an accountant, you may be looking at transactions that were downloaded from the bank feeds, but maybe you don't know how to categorize a particular transaction, right? So we can click on that little uh, plus button right there in the Request More Info column. We'll click on that, and then you ask a question. And you can say, what is this question mark, right? And you can either use the template here, click Ask More Info, and it'll pre-write this for you, right? Can you give me some details, et cetera, et cetera? Or you can click on Ask for Receipt, and basically it's just a template that pre-writes that for you. So I'll write what is this on this one, and I'll click on Add to Request List. And then I'll go, go look at another one, another transaction that maybe I'm not sure how to categorize. Let's say this Chick-fil-A one. And I can say, is this personal or business at the request list? And we'll go down here and we'll come and ask here the Costco one. We'll say, did you buy supplies or equipment, right? So you can either type your own questions, use the templates at the request list, pretty much pretty simple. So that, that way you don't uh, categorize those. Then you can view the list of all the transactions that have been already categorized simply by scrolling all the way to the top and clicking up here where it says request. You see a little drop down menu that says copy link. So if you actually wanna know the URL cause you wanna copy and paste it on an email, and maybe save it on the favorite so your customers know exactly everything that's sitting on request. You could do that. But I can click here, request, and it takes me into this page, right? This is the page where, um, where, where that URL is, is from. And basically, you get a list of all the transactions that are sitting here waiting for questions. Now, you can mark them complete as you have the answers. Under each transaction, you're going to see a chat. You're going to see how, how you can interact back and forth with, uh, with your customers. So this is what it looks like on the accountant side. I'm gonna go ahead and log in as a customer so you can see what that looks like. So now I'm logged in as a customer. You're gonna see the same request button here in the top right. You can click on that. Or if you gave your customer the direct uh, URL, they could just click on that if you include it on an email, that way they can go straight to that. And then here's the transaction. So I can click on any of these transactions and I can say uh, supplies, okay. Uh, and let's say I'm gonna attach a receipt. So assume that's a receipt. And then I go to this one and I'll say personal business. Like I'll literally give <laughs> a confusing answer. Like that's what customers do that all the time. Um, and then on this one, I'm gonna say uh, meals for my workers, meals for my workers, okay? And then I'll upload a receipt on this one too, okay? Uh, and so that's it. So basically you get a full Basically, interaction here, uh, a, a, a chat where you can see they can go back and forth. You can attach a, um, a picture or anything, anything like that, and then you are pretty much done. Like the person doesn't have to click submit or anything like that. They can remove the actions. I, I kind of dislike that part that the customer can can remove the actions. I wish only the accountant could do that. Or and they can mark uh, these things completed and get them off the list. Okay. So I'm gonna log back in, let me X out of that, I'm gonna log back in as, as the accountant so we can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm logging in back into the account. I'm logged in as the accountant now, just wanting you to see both interactions. I'm gonna go here into bank transactions. I can go into requests. And now I can see that there's a section for unanswered and there's a section for answered. I can click on the answer ones and then I can see and again, it's either the customer or the accountant can mark things completed or remove them from the actions. I kind of wish it was only the, the, the accountant that marks it complete, but that's really not a big deal. And then I can, I can look at each one, right? I, I can see what each, each one it is, look at the attachment, and then based on that, make my decision or go back and say, you know, respond, you know, uh, you know, you know what, what did you mean by this or something like that? Um, you know, something like that. So it's, it's really cool because you can have a chat attached to every single transaction and have an attachment and so forth. So that's, I, I, li I like that quite a bit. The only thing that I dislike about it is when I go back into banking, 
and I'm looking at the particular transaction. So let's say, let's look at a Chick-fil-A transaction. Okay, there's the Chick-fil-A transaction, there's the little note. When I click on that, I get to see the chat and I see the attachment, but the attachment is not like attached to the transaction itself. That part is kind of missing. Uh, so it would be nice that it would actually be sitting here on my attach files when the customer attaches a picture on the chat. So that's just something that's missing, uh, most likely a design flaw. And I'm sure somebody from QuickBooks will watch this video and go, oh, of course, you know, we should be able to have a little, um, let me open that. There should be a little button here that says add to attachment or something like that. Because uh, the customer could attach, you know, three or four things and maybe you don't want the three or four things as the actual attachment that's in the transaction once you save it, once you post it. But they, they, they should be a workflow to grab this image or whatever the customer um, uploaded straight to attach it on the transaction. So Because once I categorize it or whatever, I want to be able to see, um, I want to be, be able to see that. So if I go and look at this transaction and I, op I open it up, uh, there's no underlying attachment, right? So like that would be logical to have that attachment in there. But in either case, this is like version one of this client communication tool. And it's actually pretty awesome. I, I think I think it's just really like a lot for version one. I'm pretty sure that as accountants give feedback, I mean, there's a big, you know, provide feedback button. As accountants give feedback, that particular feature is going to get better. But um, I'm excited for it. So I'm hoping that you find that exciting too.